as we speak, the few hospitals still functioning are attending life-threatening burn, bullet and shrapnel injuries with many unattended at home or in the streets with these injuries. Or with tuberculosis, depression and psychiatric disorders, diabetes, HIV, COVID and cancer. 40% of households have at least one member in need of chronic treatment that they can no longer find, resulting in an estimated at least 3,000 premature avoidable deaths. The direct impact of the conflict after two months is appalling. At least 3,382 civilian deaths, among which 75 girls and 91 boys, and 69 children whose sex is yet unknown. 13 million people displaced and 16 million people in need of assistance. These are dark times for the European region, We're confronted with unthinkable levels of human suffering. On shadow cast from over two years of a pandemic, we are now experiencing war and the greatest humanitarian crisis our European countries have experienced for more than 70 years. With almost 200 health attacks verified and documented by WHO on the ground, Ukraine sees the largest and quickest assault on the healthcare system, its workforce and its patients. Hospital bombed by the will of someone will be forever lost, packed with stigma and infamy and feared from the public. It is a breach of international humanitarian law. I firmly stand beside the United Nations Secretary General Guterres in urging all parties to enact an urgent and immediate humanitarian ceasefire. The safe and secure functioning of humanitarian corridors. Help evacuate civilian residents and also deliver life-saving humanitarian and medical assistance.